So welcome on the show called Yeah 2 Vibes Pamele Panapa Prime TV where we get to have different guests and uh, today I'm super excited because the Zambo come back with you. Get to to my yard! <laughs> get to to my yard! Come on, fan! One day to turn us like a tap! Ati mwanje makulu, mulitse? Nilitse, mulitse. Ah, ile ile tse, ile. Vindu venda bwa? Vindu venda chera kana kana. Mm, mundu apushinga mungati sana pitisa. But mwa do feel ifa dola pitisa? Ah, wa, can bono. Ah, ah, ile mwanje face to face. Bagamba. Eh. Ndipeti yamba yamba. Mm. Ndipe yamba yamba. This more. Pa Prime TV pano. Banona chongo. Nikumbuka bani ndapo tachapoka interview ku Dala che. I'm a feedback. I'm going to come back to the background. I'm going to come back to the background. I'm going to come back to the background. 5K. 5K? 5K likes. We're having conversations. I'm going to come back to the channel. With the movie looks. Yeah, yeah. The last time I came here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now we're talking. How many followers do you have on your social media? 323. Mm. Thousand. How, how did, did you, were you expecting all those followers to come through? Not really. Yeah. You know, growth came in uh, last year, you know, the piano cool, I'm a number from 57 in a, in a space of uh, six months. I was on 200,000. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, yeah, my 300 plus. Yeah. But anyways, let, 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 me, let me start it from this side, man. Um, Basically, let's talk about your big album, uh, which my album is on the street. I'm going to go to the street. I'm going to go to the street. I'm going to go Let's talk about this, man. Um, how has it been for you growing up in the ghetto? Um, I, 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 I always believe in working hard, you know. Growing yeah. up from the ghetto, you know, there are, there are a lot of things which you need to avoid, you know, because. Uh, uh, life seems like I'm in stable, so it's a uh, instability. Yeah, yeah. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to do right things or wrong things, you know. For me, uh, it has always been positive vibes, you know, to now, you know. Mm. Is, is, is there a point that you almost lost it? You yeah. felt like, okay, music saved you, hip hop saved you. The time I, I completed my grade 12, you know, I, I, I wasn't doing anything, you know. Cause at that pe at that point I even stopped, you know, cause I was playing football. Yeah. Then Napoleon Alec, so I stayed uh, for about five months. Yeah. Without doing anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Then influence. I started doing bad things. That's when I started hustling. Now, you know. What what what, what bad things are you talking about? What bad things were you doing? You know, peer pressure. You know, the way it is. You know, maybe guys who come through over the weekend. You know, you'd want to smoke, you know, drink beer, you know, such things, you know. Then when I started hustling, you know, I, I, I figured out like, yo, I started spending uh, so much time at work. Then I, I just stayed away from a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did Mula come through? <laughs> let, 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 uh, I, I never had 2016, you know. 2016, then yeah. 2017, that's when me and Jay, you know, that's when the, 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 the whole issue of that Casmo boy came in. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's a, we're talking about two years' time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but is, is, is there a situation where you felt like you were almost losing it to a point where we would have not known about you? Yeah, man, because, you know, when you're in high school, uh, you always think, like, uh, the moment you complete your grade 12, you think maybe you start working or maybe you go to the university, but then, you know, society will show you the true colors, you know. Yeah. So um, I started getting depressed, you know, like, ah, things are not happening, you know, then that's, that's why I almost, like, lost it, you know. But mm -hmm. then after finding myself... I started doing right things too now. Okay. Yeah. Is, is, is your growing up, or rather growing up in the ghetto, mm -hmm. is it where you are getting the inspiration to do ghetto to my head? Yeah, it's, it's actually a movement, you know. So, I'm going to go ghetto. It doesn't matter. But what inspired you to write <laughs> all the songs in the album? You know, uh, 
my pressure she is so to say you know struggle you know so I stay the inspiration behind everything you know because you know music is the only thing that's going to save my life you know so um, I, I feel like uh, I need to work hard you know yeah. it took me about four years to come up with you know that album you know it was during a, a moment where I really needed a hit song, you know, starting from 2018. I really needed the big song for me to be at least, you know. Then I was recording songs, you know, but then I never used to drop some of the songs, you know. If you listen to the album, mm -hmm. if you pay attention to some of the songs, you figure out that my voice is not like the same compared to the songs that I recorded maybe last year or mm -hmm. this year, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really struggle, so to say. Even I just inspire to remember his album. Uh, let, let, let's talk about inside. I thought I warned you. One day, Satana, Satana. How about Satana? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you heard Bobby Ease's verse in the song, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. and me playing it on radio, man, mm -hmm. it almost got me in trouble. To be honest with you, yeah. Then I had to edit the song. Mm -hmm. Now I have my own clean version. Yeah, yeah. Without Dismo sending me that song. Oh, yeah. But but but, were you okay with Bobby's verse? Very much okay. And you were okay saying. You know, so we are talking about to. two generations. Here. Two generations, yeah. Me, so I'm, 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 I'm a coming up guy. Yeah. Um, Bobby East, you know, I've always been a fan of Bobby East growing up. You know. Are you still a fan? Yeah, I'm still a fan too now. Yes. Yeah. He does like he, the music is is okay, you know. So when we were making that song, you know, we sat down. I told the big man like, yo, I I want you to go hardcore on this one, you know. So he told me like, this I, I was like, this is the concept of the song, you know. Yeah. So me, I'm talking about uh, people blocking me from doing well, you know. So I'm like, one day Satana Zaka Dabo, but to Bobby, it's, it's, it's a different story. He's an established artist, obviously. But not Dabo is you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So he came up with like, thoughts to Monga TV, Zaman, to often pulling it down, you know? Mm -hmm. Like that's why when you listen, you want me back in Chunga, you know. Yeah, like you can't go back to that to such 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 kind of lifestyle, you know. Yeah. So me, I was just okay with the bass, like hundred percent stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did Did you not think about radio plays? Did you not think about uh, kids who love your music? Because I've I've I've, I've met kids who like, sing uh, to these more songs from know, A up to Z. <laughs> <laughs> like check. Um, that's why there there's a censored vision of that song. Yeah. And there's uncensored. So distribution matters there, you know. Mm -hmm. We know which one we're going to distribute to, to the society and you know to certain age group, you know. So I ain't got any problem with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see someone has been showing off their private life on TikTok. <laughs> Your woman. <laughs> okay. Does she support you to an extent where <laughs> you guys even argue? Where who's the actual life you celebrate? You're the money boy. Come on, Galago, you're a manager. Funny, eh? Come, even Galago, one situation, man. Uh, you know, women are different, are difficult people, you know. So it's just understanding, you know. You have to find time for for your woman and work, and she also has to understand, you know. Like there are people who just come to you random. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think I you know, you so, you feel so, you know. At the end of the day, in communication, I don't think I'm going to give Okay. Mm. All right. Let, let, let's talk about uh, Apa Iliso. Uh, I remember I had a conversation with uh, Jim Bula J. Kash. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find out about whether he has plans of signing other artists. Then he said he was still planning on doing that as well. Yeah. Uh, I've seen you guys perform on stage. Yeah. And I was telling someone, when I saw you perform on stage, I was telling someone that these guys, the way they perform, do you guys yes? There's a, there's a way that you just get the stage, okay? okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, do you sometimes, Mwankala, Che, Mwakuma, Che, you no, we don't, we or don't, maybe in my end, Che, We don't che. even plan, you know, for that, you know. Me and Che, there's that connection, like, there's a bigger connection, you know. So, um, can I tell you one thing? Yeah. You know, me, uh, when I met Jay, you know, him, 
it was like at that level already you know? yeah, so yeah. to me it, it was a different story because every time when i was i was about to about to jump on stage you know and what you know but then so we've performed on different stages you know like a lot of times several times so we know how to to do work the moment we just step on stage okay yeah do you sometimes find time to visit where you grew up from i'm always in the hood from time to time and uh, your close friends are you are you still in good terms bagai mozo kula chena bagai wenzo support when you're just starting up to me i'm in good terms with them but i don't know to their side you know i don't know but have you been in a situation where someone they start hating on you yeah that people that were supporting you now yeah, they see yeah. how far you have gone yeah a lot of people were hating on me you know there's one guy who are like who got a copy for get to my ad you know at some point he called me sometime back last year like yo you got this thing. he was you know shouting at me but then um, um after putting in so much work you know he called me again that he wanted the copy so you know hate is always gonna be there you know it's up to you on how to handle such situation okay yeah uh, i was watching one of your old interviews that you did and you mentioned that you were a Zambian Eminem. Use the buzz rap. I'm Zambian Eminem. What do you expect? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. Do you still remember? Or yeah, yeah. I, about it? That's not, that's kind of fun, you know, because yeah. I just, you know, fans love it. Hey, black Slim Shade, Black Slim Shade. To me, you know, I'm, I'm one guy who's like fun at, in some ways, you know. So yeah. I always, I, I, I also talk about that, like yo, I'm black and shit, you know. So it's, it's uh, an interaction between me and my fans, you know. But it's not something really serious, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. I don't know if this more is aware, but the street, <laughs> you have so much love from the street. What, what I did? Okay. There's, a, there's a time that I did last time. You wanted to say something? I wanted to say something like, yeah. you know, people always tell me that you have, you know, the streets, the blah blah blah. Blah, but you, but know, you don't know i don't know about how it. come i don't know if it's because i don't usually move you know yeah. I'm, I'm always in the vehicle most of the times you know i don't know what cuts we need road. to do a tour with him one day <laughs> 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 we need to make him get on the bus or the public transport <laughs> then you understand <laughs> <laughs> we need to make this war going down public transport <laughs> then do you know the influence that you have towards young people? Like, there's this time mm -hmm. I was coming to work on radio. Yeah. Then bus drivers, back to back. Ah. Then this guy, young boy, I don't know if it's eight, nine years. Yeah. I'm like, mm, somebody's more as talk and they impact. Kids love you, man. For real? Kids love you. I know this. I've seen this with my eyes. <laughs> and I, I, I know if they are watching right now, they, they are your biggest fans. Oh, uh, Like big time, man. Great. Uh, uh, you need to be happy. You have yeah. so much impact. Uh, there's so many people are looking forward, like looking up to you. Yeah. And it's not easy. Trust me. One mistake, you are going to lead them on to do what you're doing. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how an icon becomes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we did right there. But let's talk about a quick word. Your album is out, Ghetto to My Head, amazing yeah. album. I yeah. had time to get to listen to quite a number of songs. I'm still yeah. vibing to uh, Wino. Wino. Uh, with Israel. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing song. Not forgetting uh, Sneakers as well. Sneakers hey. and my chain. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to Maybe after this, the album is out. Uh, people are buying the album. I hear that it's one of uh, the current purchased album. In it's actually on top five, you know, top five. best selling albums of all time on the Sun. Yeah, know, like all the albums that have dropped in this country, yeah. all of them yeah. is on number five, you know, and it was just like a week old. Hey, sure. Yeah, so like uh, as time goes by, maybe we we'll hit, we'll hit like in a third spot on, yeah, yeah. you know yeah yeah do you feel like you have also brought back new wave current hip-hop as one of the artists that is happening right now yeah i think okay yeah why because um to me it, it, it it's it, it has always been hip-hop you know yeah yeah so i think there are a lot of guys who rush into doing this commercial music yeah, yeah. even 
kids who have potential to do hip hop, you know, they believe they just need that trending sound, you know, not for good, not they f they they're forgetting where we're coming from, you know. Mm -hmm. Hip hop has always been there, you know. If you go back to Benatoni D times, yeah, slap, yeah. you know, such vibes, you know. Yeah, so I'm I'm like holding that 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 point. I'm mm -hmm. sticking to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Lastly, this more talk to your fans. Your album is out. I know it was a quick conversation, <laughs> but we have to go. We have to go. Kambani na wantu wa no pamene pa Prime TV pano. Membro na tpasa kona eight bars. Bano na show kamfana kandalama. You know, support Ghetto to Mayadi. The album is out. It's dope. You know, you can get the copy. You can buy the album on Vizisani. It's all. It's on all streaming platforms. You know, let's get it. Mm. At eight lines. Eight lines. Mm. At my dreams, I nankala ni reality. I live a sweet life. Baby mama wanga an American height. Bestie na but daddy age the same size. Rapper Muzanga Zanga ni pasa advice. Bondi ni hotel ni zabuki ni lachani lodge. <laughs> Get ni sego kaeka na remote. Deko danga wafu na uti ni kapose. Ma text ni shita reply na emoji. Life is too short bonga ni papu tebo ni machimo bakui ni yama ni faka mo ma pepo. No da ja. Yeah, I'm a buyer, you. Back inside, I thought I warned you. One test, I'm a sucker, I'm a good. One test, I'm a sucker, I'm a good. One test, I'm a sucker, I'm a good.